a little bit of anger on the divine feminine side mm -hmm. yeah definitely sense a little bit of hostility and with that we picked up the white moon tarot oh crap you know i'm getting bad at setting up the table back there you found me as you can see that's where my mind ran straight to i was like oh we need some readings let's see what's good and going on so let's proceed we're going to get some insight on who are these parties keeping these two beings from coming together and balancing their scales. All right, doing what was right for their soul's journey. Okay, Nine of Cups. Okay. Black Newman. All right, and that's actually on the table. All right, so bump, bump, bump. All right. So the Black Newman, as you can see, there's two soulmates, and they're actually on an altar. There's many beings here. All right, attempting to reach and pull and grab, but everything around these two soulmates are, is disintegrating. So basically, this is the end of this chapter lifetime for these two until the next lifetime or whatever. They are loyal to each other, as you can see, so they'll definitely find each other in another time frame. Okay, so let's see what's going on with that. That's very interesting. Four of Swords. So it's looking like somebody's definitely taking some time to realize things all right and with them realizing everything that's going on they're recognizing bro i can't keep waiting i gotta move forward okay that's great but i want to know who is uh those people those five of wands energies are we gonna have to get back into this deck who are the who were those five of wands energies like i don't know i'm feeling i don't know i'm looking for something particular right now Eight of Cups. Energies who this energy is walked away from. Alright. Two of Swords and the Star. So the feminine energy is unaware. Okay, but we want insight on who the Five of Wands energies were. Okay. all right so the question was who were these energies all right so now that they're recognizing these were romantic suitors all right so some sort of romantic suitor that was keeping them away from this wish fulfillment now they recently realized and started to see things from another perspective all right and with that caused a little bit of anxiety for the situation okay they recognized where the black blessing actually was and the fact that they were blocking it because of some sort of wandsy behavior that was going on in the background okay let's keep going who else were these people two of wands to the six of pentacles four of pentacles to the death so that's when they realized that they closed out the cycle with the energy that they truly should have moved forward with they actually decided to hold back from giving to this energy, close out this situation, thinking that this situation over here was the actual situation for them with some sort of queen of wands. So they wanted a ten of cups with a queen of wands. Hmm, that's interesting. Message was delivered. So that's who the five of wands energies were. All right. So they, they were chasing a ten of cups, looking for, looking at a queen of wands. So, um, yeah, so that's who these... That's who these Five of Wands energies were. Okay, so my question for this is, um, what, what's going? What's the turn of events with this particular situation or dynamic? Ace of Swords. That's the truth and clarity of the situation. All right, so we can leave that there. Everything will be uh, alchemized in the situation. Is there anything else we need to know? Let's wrap this up real quick. lovers choices have been made with the lovers here all right the scales are being balanced for these karmic energies and somebody is now stepping up and fighting some sort of energy that they're separating and moving away from anything else on that 
Five of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, they're leaving that situation out in the cold. For uh, what's going on there? Okay, okay, yeah, so they're closing out this situation with this karmic situation. There may have been some sort of union that they uh, only special people were privy to. So, um, yeah, they they have to get out of that union, out of that contract, out of that binding situation. Oof, not cute. With this devilly energy, who wants to be on the table? Okay, so let's get some insight on the devil. Apparently, you want to be on the table. King of Pentacles. Okay, so he can't really stop thinking about taking this leap of faith. This King of Pentacles energy, it's honestly stuck on him. He's honestly in huge regret about the fact that he gave up his Queen of Cups. He wants to take a leap of faith in that direction, okay? Her. She knows this. Okay. Okay, I guess we can get back to the regular timeline. Let's go. All right. Okay. The Emperor, bottom of the deck. All right, we got going on here. Looks like he's severing ties. Okay, we have a passionate new beginning with the Ace of Wands that many people seem to be reaching for. An Ace of Cups as the cup overfloweth. Many people are also reaching for this particular cup as well. An opportunity to collaborate and work with mm, the devil. That's the Queen of Cups High Priestess energy. And that's all they can think about. They're having nightmares about how many people want this particular situation, energy, you. And they want to be your divine masculine. It's honestly becoming a repetitive uh, thought for them. They're almost manifesting this. What's that devil energy? It's driving them crazy from the looks of it. The death. The empress. Oh, jeez. Okay. Mmm. So they're going crazy over the fact that you've transformed into some sort of empress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big body bends. That's right. You feel me? Crazy on the turns. It's crazy. But nonetheless, they're they're honestly mesmerized by the energy that you embody. Wow. You've really transformed yourself. And they really want to give you their cup of love. Okay. Queen of Cups. To the seven of cups oh so yeah so they want to commit they want to give to you all right that's all they can think about they see your success your independence your confidence pre empress energy single energy they want to pour out their admiration for you they know that you're a loving caring energy but there's only one cup of love and many fish in the sea i see Ooh. Mm, interesting interesting so my question is, what's this Black Newman energy? King of Swords. Ace of Swords. Let's go. Queen of Swords, bottom of the deck. King of Swords, Queen of Swords to the Emperor. So this King of Swords needs to come forward and speak his truth. Hmm. To a queen of wands about a queen of wands all right now it looks like um he's really nervous about coming forward and talking about some karmic behaviors because she's a queen of swords let's talk about the karmic behaviors well what about the queen of wands all right the moon things that were hidden about the situation okay um queen of wands what's the truth in that Oh, the fact that she betrayed them mm -hmm, with the Ten of Swords, stabbed them in their back while they were in their feminine energy. Yes, this was a soulmate, but what type of soulmate was it? Mmm, sun bottom of the deck. Okay, so Ten of Swords, this Queen of Wands betrayed them, stabbed them in the back. All right, they were just laying there, like I said, in their feminine energy. Ten of Pentacles. Uh, maybe they were building or supposed to be building, and uh, whoo. They chose the Ten, or they were supposed to be building with the Empress, but they chose a, a Ten of Swords instead. All right, so the soulmate they chose was karmic. Okay, so now here comes the emperor wanting to take control over the situation. But he, as you can see, he doesn't look too good. He looks like a seven of swords, a thief, somebody who's um, a traitor, somebody who was, you know, being captured and being forced to, you know, speak your truth. Or, you know, you're just going to end it here, bruh. If any, like, gangsterism, gangsterism, excuse me. So, um, yeah.
All right, so we've illuminated some things. So he wants to come forward and illuminate his truth in the fact that basically the shoe now fits him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Six of Swords. And he liked to move towards calmer waters and have a complete new beginning with the White Newman and you. Now, the White Newman is about God giving you the opportunity to create, to transform, not just with the Most High, but also with the universe. Everybody coming together and truly creating this Nine of Cups, emotional fulfillment and contentment, better days, being guided in that direction with the Six of Swords. Okay. Temperance, peace, and harmony. Union. When I say union, I mean of energies. Okay, of energies within the body, within the avatar. Alright, with their soulmate, apparently. Okay, they're, they're ready to come forward and seize this opportunity. They now see the error of their ways, and they're like, nah, B. This ain't going down like that. She did me dirty. I should have never did you dirty. I see what I did. Let me fix this. Mm. Alright, so yeah. If this king of swords doesn't come forward and speak his truth, because there's two swords here, so somebody may not be aware, um, you guys will have to wait till another lifetime to close out, have this chapter opportunity for success. So, masculine, you need some love and light, bro. Love and light to you. Stay up, stay safe, and uh, always keep it out first. I'll make it easy for you, I'm just saying.